What we're gonna be doing today is uh, creating the bilingual for Polish and all English speaking video standing about the factors of resonance and comparison between the series resonance circuit and the tie rate. We're trying to find out differences between the characteristics. Będziemy próbowali znaleźć różnicę pomiędzy szeregowym obwodem rezonansowym, gdzie tutaj jest cewka i kondensator, a transformatorem toroidalnym, gdzie tu mamy pierwsze uzwojenie, pierwotne i jedno z wtórnych uzwojeń, które będziemy używać. Ok. As we see in here, we have a uh, serious network connected. The yellow one is the correct resonance characteristic and, and the green one is the face. I'm going to show just the one to easier. And we have a marker right now, the red marker on the top of it. And we can show the frequency of 388474 megahertz. Now, this is being done with the Advantage R3754B, R3754B, Advantage 10 kHz to 105 MHz. Now, I'm gonna put that here, like that. And I'm gonna change the, uh, the capacitance of the network. Będę zmieniał pojemność kondensatora w drugą stronę, żeby pokazać jaka jest różnica. Almost done. Okay. So now, let's see. What we have in here is we have no longer uh, the marker on the top of the frequency. And I'm going to the all the way top and we reaching the point of the 5 to 59 5, megahertz. And for other knowledgeable with uh, other representation of that graph, I might switch to other modes. Okay, so that's how the face looks like. Now comparison. You have a face and you have a characteristic. Then you have a delay. The Smith chart. Smith chart. And this is respect R plus JX. This is R. This is G plus JB and of course, of course the polar will look like that line magnitude the line magnitude actually is our SWR almost right I gotta put it into the scale because uh, that will allow me okay got it I put a scale on it to make it easier And uh, let's go to the format, more, that's it. So we see the, 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 the peak, we have no problem to find uh, the resonance frequency for it. And I can switch to another device, which will be this one, it will be much uh, easier for us to see that it's just better screen, CRT instead of TFT, and when we switch to gain we see exactly the same I put a marker all the way to the top okay now you have a 5.5 .5 megahertz uh, yeah five it will be probably yes five point uh, two five zero and we did have the same frequency five point two five nine on the other one. 
Także widzimy sobie, nie mamy problemu z tym. Gdybyśmy tu doprowadzili sobie sygnał z generatora do tej częstotliwości, mamy pełną transformację mocy. So, now I'm gonna change to the thyroid transformer and see how that looks like. Okay, I did so, and let's see what we have. Okay, well, this characteristic is not easy to understand. There are many peaks, and we got to choose the highest one. The Kapanaza, uh, 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 the project Kapanaza was suggesting 20 kilohertz, and let's see what we have. Probably, this is 500 megahertz. Let me go to the markers and uh, maximum marker. The maximum marker of ours is somewhere in here, and this is 8750. And when I go to the display function, display, display, okay. I'm trying to a maximum. Well, it's hard for me to to do that. Um, let me switch to network analyzer. Maybe I would be able to see that. Okay. So we had the 8.750. Let's see what we have in here. High, highest one. Eight point seven five nine. This is the one, and uh, I can try to show only the face. Let's make sure it. Okay, got it. Yeah, well, somewhere in the peak. Sytuacja jest taka, że praktycznie tych pików jest dużo więcej, możliwości rezonansowych jest więcej, jest jeden na największy, chodzi nam o transformację mocy maksymalną. And the conclusion would be that instead of trying to make the transformer the way that will match to the um, uh, generator, it is better to adjust the generator to the frequency of resonance of the transformer. Czyli inaczej mówiąc, lepiej będzie zamiast zmieniać ilość zwojów, żeby dopasować to do, do generatora, to jest użyć generator, zmienić mu częstotliwość, żeby dopasował się do częstotliwości rezonansowej transformatora. I o to tutaj mniej więcej chodzi. Dziękuję serdecznie, najwięcej będzie w nowym y, klipie.